Okay, Unit 7, Shakespeare, Research and Development by Joe Ashford. Okay, I want to start by analysing Shakespearean filmmaking versus modern. Um, the Shakespearean filmmaking tends to be more complex in the way that the dialogue is written, um, because you have the choice of sticking true to the original script, um, or venturing into your own thing, and and stay true to the original script makes it more complex for the audience to understand. And the language is more metaphorical and it's more than BCI. Uh, it's poetic. And naturalism tends to be more conserved. Um, it has more emotional beats in the script and the story. And what are the challenges of the film of Shakespeare? And for this, I chose dialogue line memory and style and for dialogue because obviously as an actor you need to have a certain skill set to be able to recite Shakespearean dialogue as it's a lot more complex for line memory obviously same sort of thing um, you know you need to sort of be able to do that for style I thought that was a difficult one because you know as Shakespeare writes his plays there's always very sort of I don't know how to describe them, but it's quite difficult to translate that into film in the way that you, know, you can stay true to the play. Uh, and a good example of this is Romeo and Juliet, because you know, um, the one by Baz, I can't remember his last name. Lerman. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, because that play is obviously it's very different from the original script. It's set in modern, modern times and they use guns and all that instead of swords. Um, which in some cases that can actually help the film, that can make it more interesting, but it's, and sometimes it can get up worse. Okay, what have you learned about the way you presented Shakespeare to the audience? And I thought the main ones were body language and facial expressions. I mean, this is obviously because when you're performing to a younger audience, Shakespeare is a thing that tends to lose the interest of younger audiences and to be able to capture their attention, I thought, it was important to use body language and exaggerate every single movement that you do you know, to keep their attention because younger audiences are, they tend to have a shorter attention span and along with that comes facial expressions because you, know, you need to make your facial expressions more exaggerated and what three really acting techniques have you learned that you can use to make Shakespeare more interesting as a filmmaker Oh, I started with that, reading the whole play, because I find that when you're doing a Shakespeare role, reading the entire play can help you understand the context better, um, and in turn can make you give a better performance. And I, I, iambic, iambic pentameter. Uh, Shakespeare likes to write his plays in iambic pentameter. Um, I found that when you break the verses down into that, it can help you um, say out the dialogue at a good tempo instead of you know, rushing for it and not knowing when to pause and when to take a breath. Um, diction exercises, because um, Shakespearean dialogue, some of the words can be quite complex, and I found that when you're exercising this, as we've learned with Katie, um, when you slow down and really go through your vowels and all that, it can really help you to say the words properly and make your dialogue clearer. cinematic or editing techniques have you learned that you can use to make Shakespeare more interesting as a filmmaker. And she was breaking the fourth wall. Um, I got this from the film we watched Richard III, because um, in that, Ian McKellen, who's Richard III, he likes to break the fourth wall a lot. And I thought that was interesting, because um, in that in that context, the character, when addressing the camera breaking the fourth wall, turns into a different person. And I found that's quite an interesting way of doing a film, I think I'd probably incorporate that into my work in terms of an FMP. And sounds, I found, no, sound, I, sorry, I found that one of the examples that I used is Romeo and Juliet, the same one. Um, that film had a certain interesting sound to it in terms of how the, the soundtrack was, uh, the audio. Um, personally, I think the best example of that is the opening, because um, the music sort of build ups in the prologue. Uh, it's quite interesting, it sort of grabs your attention. I'd probably incorporate that sort of thing into my work. And the rule of six. And the rule of six is you know, your six choices you have 
sort of editing style in a scene. And I actually found this really helpful because um, using the rule of six can actually help you understand what type of editing is appropriate for the context of your scene. You know, whether you want to have choppy editing, fast editing, slow editing, you want to stay on one shot, depending on what scene the scene is, depending on what the characters are feeling. So I found that helped me quite a lot. And is it more important to preserve Shakespearean language in modern interpretation of his work? Uh, the pros of this are just emotion and that. And emotion, um, I suppose, because in terms of the dialogue, it can help you a lot um, because you know the um, you know, I lost the words here. Um, the distinctivity, um, because when you're doing a Shakespeare film, um, you know, in terms of how you style it, um, and how you, if you can stay true to what Shakespeare wanted for that play. I like to make the film more, in, more individual, more unique. Um, you know, the cons, I'd say complexity because, you know, um, if you make it more true to Shakespeare's language, um, it can make the film harder for the viewers to understand. Um, again, Romeo and Juliet's a good example of that because it's quite true to the original play. Um, and some parts, especially if you're a younger viewer, you could find it difficult to understand the dialogue and what's going on in the play. So that could be a negative and relatability because, again, if you can't really understand what the characters are going through, what they're saying, you can find it difficult to relate to the characters. Um, yeah. And that is all. Thank you.